officials today. Here come the Wolverines. And you can hear the Michigan band and also the small but loyal group of supporters from Ann Arbor that have made the trip. The other officials today, the umpire is Victor Wukovitz, the headlinesman, Erwin Chappelle, field judges Edward Bronson. Here the reception as the Ohio State Buckeyes come onto the field. Captain Ron Johnson is now proceeding to midfield along with the referee today, who is Jerry Marshbright. He will be joined shortly by the captains of Ohio State as we await the arrival of... Meeting in midfield with Johnson now. Co-captain Dave Foley. with Mark Steyer and Dirk Wharton. Michigan won the toss and elected to receive. Ohio for 15. Ashmark from the far side. Here comes Zelina. Here comes the football and the spectacle of spectacles is underway. Huey feels it. Three yards deep into the end zone. He's got to run on. 5, 10, 15. Hit hard and down with the 16. Into a five-man lineup as Michigan lines up in the eye. They split him to the right. The handoff is given to Johnson. Finds a slight hole on the right side. And he has about three up to the 19-yard line where the tackle is made. It'll be second down. And formation again. Flanker left. Split and right is Imsland. Brown again gives off to Johnson. Same hole on the right side. And Johnson is stopped after a pickup of one. Androbo, the flanker, wide to the left. Michigan. Third and five, and Dennis Brown calls for quiet. Now they break out of the ice, put the setbacks. Brown rolling to the left. Looking downfield, stops. He's going to be hemmed in, and he spins free. Now throws the ball. It is caught up at the 33-yard line. Jerry Emsland met for the Wolverines. Gabler flanked left. Brown back to pass on first down. He fumbled. Big pilot at the 35, and Ohio State has recovered. football. I believe it was Mark Dubovic, the sophomore number 83 and winning Dave Whitfield. The first big break of the ball game came as John Tatum hit Dennis Brown hard and there is an injured Michigan player and a timeout on the field with a score. Michigan nothing, Ohio State nothing. All set to go. Ohio State puts it in play as the handoff is given to Zelina wide around the left side. Turns the corner at the 35 to the 30. And is knocked out of bounds in the neighborhood of the 25-yard line by Cecil Pryor. Quickly, the Buckeye offense. Let's spot him for you. In the backfield, the quarterback is Rex Kern. The halfbacks, Larry Zelina and John Bockington. And the fullback is Jim Otis. The ball is the tackles. Jankowski and White are the ends. Again, the straight tee. This time it's given off to Brockington. Around the right side he goes. Stiff arms one man, but he is hit by Phil Seymour. And down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Gary Hartman also got a hand on him to trip him up. All set to go. Second down. Ten to go. Straight tee once again. They give it off to the fullback Otis. And straight up the middle he goes to the 21-yard line. Hit by Dan Parks, the sophomore from Birmingham. Jim Otis, the leading ball carrier, 41 yards, coming into today's Ohio State on a third and five situation. The handoff is faked to Brockington as Kern rolls off to the left, looks downfield to pass, fakes it, and he's going to be hit for a loss. It's Ed Moore way back at the fourth and 12. And let's see if the four-yard line, which would make it a 44-yard field goal, it is up, headed in that direction. Just short, no good, so Michigan has held. So the first big break of the ball game goes for naught as the Wolverine defense stiffened. And now the offense takes over for Michigan. First and ten, ran off the field under his own power, and he's right back in there to run the Wolverines. First and ten, Gabler split left. They split the setbacks, Craw and Johnson. The handoff is given to Johnson. He tries to find opening over the left side, doesn't find much. As he slants back to the right, Midland. Left side three. Imsland split right. Gabler flanked left. Set back split. Brown fakes to Johnson. Rolling right. He's going to keep him go to the 25. Fumbles again. And I believe Michigan this time got it himself. Back on the 22-yard line they did. Pouncing on the football was number 61, Stan Broadnecks. Brown had the football torn out of his yard line. On the third and 
eight situation at the 22 as Brown fakes to Johnson, rolling back the pass, fires it. Is it complete? Yes, it is a diving grab as the crowd thought it was trapped by Jim Mandage up at the 32-yard line as Mandage just caught that ball before it hit the ground. Boy, time it could have gone either way, that call, but luckily the referee was right on top of the call, made a good one. First and ten for Michigan. At its own 32, Brown gives off to Johnson. Around the left side he goes, and the Michigan captain is over the 35, close to the 36-yard line, holding on to his ankles there. Big number 68, sophomore from Mount Vernon. Split left is Gabler. High formation as Brown turns, gives to Johnson. Big hole over the right side. Johnson hit at the 40, spin free, goes to the 45, the 50. Look out, 45, 40, 35, 30. And Ron Johnson is pulled down at the 26-yard line of Ohio State by John Tatum, the monster back, who was able to go back and nail him. There we have seen the explosive running ability again of Ron Johnson. 26. And this afternoon, Michigan has been in Ohio State territory. Gabler flank left. Handoff given to Garvey Craw. Quick opener over the left side and crawls down to the 23-yard line. Brad Nielsen, number 77, getting off the pile, along with the middle guard still wagon once again. They'll spot it at Hill, uh, Bill Harris, Michigan Wolverines. Dennis Brown gives up. No, fakes to Johnson. Back to pass he goes. Fires it. It's caught by Mandich, and he struggles down to the one-yard line. Jim Mandich making the catch down on the four of Ohio State, and before he could finally get into the end zone, he was tripped up and stopped right at the goal line by number 26, Tim Anderson. And his first and goal for Michigan as they spotted it all in on the tackle for Ohio State. Game of the year in Columbus, Ohio. Brown turns again. It goes to Johnson. He hurdles. He's in there. Touchdown, Michigan. Ron Johnson has scored his... We were talking earlier about after a tremendous run by Ron Johnson. The kickoff fumbled by Zerina. The 35, the 30, the 35, the 40, the 45, the 50, the 45, the 40, the 35. Finally, Jerry Hartman knocks him out of bounds. Larry Zelina fielding a short kick by Frank Titus. At the 15-yard line, galloped all the way down the field to the 32-yard line of Michigan before Jerry Hartman could knock him out of bounds. So the Ohio State Buckeyes coming right back after that. The spot back to the right. The handoff. Fake. Pitch back to Zelina. 25. 20. And knocked out of bounds by Bob Wedge, George Huey, and Ed Moore. As Kern, along with the street team. 15 yards to go. It's the straight tee for the Buckeyes this time. As Kern on the option. Quick pitch over the middle. It's caught. Drop. Fumble. Still free. Picked up by Phil Seymour. Let's see where it's blown dead. It is Michigan's ball. The pass was complete to Bruce Jankowski. He was hit hard. He fumbled. It popped into the air. Came down. Hit by a Buckeyes. Back into the air where Seymour grabbed it for Michigan. And this time they'll mark it at... Seven to go in the first period. As Brown again gives to Johnson. Stiff arm he can't get free, and he's cut for a loss. Way back at the 12-yard line, breaking through there. Doug Adams. Linebacker right side. The side. Split right. Gabler, flank left. High formation. Behind Brown as he rolls to the left. Gives off in the draw to Johnson, and Johnson struggles over the 15-yard line. He's cracked down at the 17. Mark Steyer, number 54 in filing. Along with middle guard Jim Stillwagon. Time this early in the ballgame. An hour deep for Ohio State is Mike Pulaski. Werner's kick, fielded by Pulaski at the Ohio State 48 to the 50 to the 45, and he's gang tackled at the Michigan 45 yard line. Center, the assist by Henry Hill, and it's Michigan third and second, respectively. Again, the slot to the left. This time, Kern fakes the draw, rolling back on the bootleg. He's going to run with the ball to the 40 to the 35. To the 30, he's upended by George Huey at the 28-yard line of Michigan. Tom Stimson came over to help him on the tackle along with Ed Moore. It's a first down for the Buckeyes at the Michigan 28-yard line, and there's another example of the tremendous deception. And running ability penalty moves the football back to the 30. Replace Bruce Jankowski. The slot to the right. 
as Kern fakes the draw to Brockington. Back he goes to pass, gets around one man, stays on his feet to the 30, to the 25, and he's knocked down at the 24-yard line. Finally tripping him up down there was number 70, Marty Huff, who is playing a linebacker, left side for Michigan now. Ball is spotted at the 24-yard line. High formation behind Kern. As back to pass he goes, stays on his feet, fires to the right side, it's complete. And knocked out of bounds goes John Brockington by Jerry Hartman at the 14-yard line, and that'll be enough for a first down. First down, Buckeyes at the Michigan, 14. And straight T behind Kern. Gives off to his fullback, Otis, and Otis rams it inside the 10 on the left side. Hit by Pryor. Moore. As they'll place it in the straight tee, the only split man is Rusnick to the left. Fake to Brockington, handoff, goes to Salina. He staggers forward over the five. He's going to be very close to the first down. They may have to measure. George Huey was able to get a hand on him along with Tom Stinsey. And the officials now looking across the field to the far side ask that the chains be brought across. Woody Hayes. Brockington, Otis, Salina. As Kern awaits the snap, takes it. Gives to Otis. Otis finds a big hole and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. Otis fires the football into the air as he found a big hole over the left side on a straight dive play as Tom Backus and Dave Foley provided the hole for him. And once he was there, Otis made the most of it. We've got a 7-6 ball game. Jim Roman will attempt to tie it up. On the play. Ready to put it in play. First and 10 from its own 27-yard line. They split the setback. Fake to Johnson. Brown rolls around the right side. Now stops. Now fires it. It's incomplete. Buckeyes. As Brown looks down the line of scrimmage, as he barks out the signals from the eye, turns and fakes to Johnson. Back he goes to pass. He's going to have to get rid of it. He can't do it, and he's hit hard. Back at the 19-yard line. Breaking through there was number 63, Doug Adams. To Spilly Hard, back at the 19. A long, long... And it'll be third down. Brown, on a passing situation, fakes to Johnson, and back he goes to pass. This time he gets the protection, throws the long one intended for Strova. It is incomplete, broken up by John Tatum down in the 37-yard line of Ohio State. As Strova had double coverage in Provo and Tatum. So that means Michigan will be forced to give up the football. And again, Mark Warner will have to punt into the win. However, let's check it. It appears... It could have been. It could have been an illegal forward pass, which means that the down marker moves around. And Warner's kick is high, catches the win, holds up, hits at the Michigan 35, and is down at the 31-yard line. So the Buckeyes get another big break there. Could not hang on to it. Buckeyes in the slot eye to the left as Kern drops straight back to pass. Everybody's out as he rolls to the right. He fires it. It's complete to the 24-yard line to Brockington, who's hit immediately by Tom Curtis. Very close to the... As the Buckeyes set in the straight tee. Looks over the Michigan defense. Takes the snap. Gives off to Otis. Hurdles the right side, and he's got enough for the first down as he's inside the 20. Making the stop, Dan Parks. The score, Ohio State 7, Michigan 7. With a four-yard plunge. So here we go. First and 10 for the Buckeyes. Slot eye to the left as Kern rolls to the left. He's going to keep it and go. Back to the 20. He goes to the 15, the 10. He'll hit at the 6 and is down at the 5-yard line. Cecil Pryor finally was able to get back to stop Rex Kern. The dynamic quarterback from Lancaster takes the snap, keeps it on the quarterback keeper, and he's in there. Touchdown, Ohio State. Brian Donovan and the center, John Gilbach, found a gaping hole and shot into the end zone for Ohio State's second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Buckeyes have gone on top 13 to 7. It's up. It's good. And the Ohio State.
State Buckeyes lead 14 to 7. The touchdown coming just in to the second quarter of action with 14 minutes and the snap. There it is. Pulls it down. And gets off another fine punt. Fielded by Provo, who bobbled it for the minute, but it comes back to the 13. Pulaski, he bobbles it again. And let's see who's recovered. Michigan has the football. Michigan has recovered it down on the Ohio State 28-yard line. Ron Johnson, Bill Harris, and Jack Harpring all off the pile. As Pulaski failed to hold on to that football, he bobbled it once, picked it up, started back. He was hit hard. And now they split out of it. As Brown gives off to Garvey Crow, big hole over the right side. He's inside the 10-yard line. Doug Adams made the stop along with Mark Steyer, the two linebackers of the Buckeyes, as Brown crossed him up a bit that time, giving to Garvey Craw on a quick opener over the right side. Yeah. Two yards to go for the first down as Brown gives off to Craw, and Craw bangs down to the five-yard line from here. It looks as though he's got a first down. As they unpile at the five-yard line, and it is enough for a first down, first and goal for Michigan. Only Wideman takes the snap and gives it to Johnson, and he's over. Touchdown, Michigan. Ron Johnson has scored his second touchdown of the afternoon as he hurdled this left side of his own offensive line to just get into the... ...who turns, and this time fakes to Brockington, keeps it himself, pitches deep to the tailback, who is up to the 40-yard line, and a fumble, and let's see if the whistle had blown the ball dead. The official said no. The fumble occurred after the whistle as Ray Gillian took that wide pitch out from Kern, moved it to the 42-yard line, fumbled ahead where Michigan had recovered it. But in the official's judgment, it occurred after the whistle. Right in front of... Slot to the right, Gillian's in it. Kern gives to Otis, over the middle he goes, finds a hole on the trap, he's inside the 50-yard line, down to the Michigan, 47, holding on to him was Tom Goss. It's going to be close to the first down, and we're going to get a measurement. Tom, we mentioned this week, uh, into the eye, with a slot right, on the draw, it's given off to Otis, and Otis finds running room down to the 36-yard line. And that'll be enough for another Buckeye first down. Bob Wedge made the tackle on Otis. Excellent call, Tom. Everybody watching Kern. We'll see which that for. As on a first down, a fake by Kern. A wide pitch out again to Zelina around the left side. And Zelina is hit out of bounds at the 30-yard line by Bob Wedge and Ed Moore. We mentioned the interest in the nation today in this football game. This broadcast being heard on the West Coast through the facilities of KNX in Los Angeles, in the Southwest by KIZZ in El Paso. For Ohio State, Kern again gives it to Otis, and Otis puts his head down and drives, and he's got the first down inside the Michigan 25. Bill Seymour got a hand on him to trip him up, with Jerry Hartman coming up to make the assist. But not before 208-pound junior Jim Otis was able to give Ohio State a big first down inside the Michigan 25. As the clock continues to run, Kern goes back to pass again, looking for Jankowski, hits him at the five, but he's hit immediately at the four by George Huey. And now Ohio State is stopping the clock with a timeout. It'll be a short timeout. As Kern barks out the signals, gives it to Otis. No, fakes it, carries it himself, and he's off the left side to around the two-yard line. Good fake to Otis. As Kern kept it himself, hit by Stimsick. Again, Ohio State is going to stop the clock with a timeout. As they spot it at the two, the clock now shows 39 seconds to go. That last play took only 10 seconds. Kern turns, gives to Otis, and Otis is in the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. Otis has scored with 36 seconds remaining in the half to give Ohio State a 20 to 14 lead over Michigan.
Otis has scored his second touchdown of the afternoon and his 12th in Big Ten play this year. The extra point attempt now by Jim Roman. It's spotted. It's up. It's good. And with just 36 seconds to go in the half, Ohio State has jumped out of front again. This time, 21 to 14. Well, the people that expected a high-scoring game this afternoon certainly had their predictions for the slot eye to the left as Kern on the option is going to keep it and go himself. He fumbles up at the 37-yard line of Michigan, has recovered. At the ball of that pot. No, wait a minute. Now they reverse it. They say Ohio State has recovered. Hold everything. As number 62 got off that pile. Bill Strickland, right guard for Ohio State, was on the football after the first signal indicated to Michigan had recovered. Southern slot is Zelina. And the handoff is given Otis. Big hole opens over the middle. He's down to the 45 to the 50 in the Michigan territory at the 47-yard line before Tom Curtis could get a hand on him to trip him up along with Tom Goss. Big hole over the middle that time as Otis on the trap. Shot through for a first down in the Michigan territory at the Wolverine 47. Inside handoff. Fake. Wide pitch to Zelina. He's hit at the line of scrimmage, struggles back over the 45 and down to the 43-yard line where Dan Parks makes the tackle for Michigan. On the inside handoff, it's given off to Brockington, and Brockington fights his way down to the 31-yard line. As he came from his left halfback position over the right side of his offensive line where Tom Goss made the tackle. The Buckeyes take to Brockingham. They give it to Zelina. Around the left side he goes. He runs into his own man at the 20, stays on his feet to the 15, goes to the 10, and is finally wrestled out of bounds by Tom Stinson. Larry Zelina on a good fake to Brockington. Zelina took it around the left side. He ran into Rufus Mays down at about the 20-yard line, but was able to stay on his feet and followed Mays down to the line of Michigan where it's first and goal for the Buckeyes. Second and goal. Fake to Brockington. They give it to Zelina around the left side. He goes. He's in there standing up. Touchdown, Ohio State. Again, that tremendous fake by Rex Kern to John Brockington. As he moved him to the right, he countered Zelina back to the left, and Zelina found clear sailing around the left side of his own line into the end zone as not a Michigan man was able to lay on 7 to 14. It's up. No good. It is no good. Off to the left. So the score holds. Ohio State 27. Michigan 14 with 10 minutes and 32 seconds remaining in the third quarter of play. So now Michigan has its work cut out for them and they have fallen behind for the first time in the ball game by Moore. Line Denzen over the ball at center as Brown rolls back to pass. Fires it over the middle to Harris. He's open at the 50 to the 45 and he fumbles the ball. Down to the 39 yard line. A big scramble. Michigan has recovered, I believe. Harris recovered his own fumble. Harris was able to recover his own fumble. As the crowd roared, they thought Ohio State had it. I tell you, Tom, that was a photo finish from our work. Imsland checks in for Harris. Flip right. Gabler, flank left. Pass out on the right flight to Johnson. Has it at the 35, and he's moved out of bounds at the 31. Ted Provo and John Tatum. Both over there to get Johnson. As that time, Johnson from his tailback position on the eye as the deep man floated out into the right flat to take that little swing pass from Dennis Brown. And move it to eye for Michigan. Brown has stayed in the air. This time he gives off to Craw, and Craw finds a hole over the left side, and he's down close to the 27-yard line where he is hit by Adams, Stillwagon, and Tatum. It's enough for a first down, however. Inside the Ohio State. They split the setbacks. Brown fakes to Johnson. Back he goes to pass. Fires a sideliner. It's complete. Knocked down immediately at the 14-yard line is Bill Harris. Tackle made by Tim Anderson. Camera just about. Brown drops straight back to pass. Getting good protection. Archers went into the end zone. It is caught by Johnson, but he was not in bounds as he made the grab. The official says he was not in the end zone. He had cleared the corner 
on the far side, although the pass was complete, so it will go over to Ohio State. As Ron Johnson just narrowly missed his third touchdown of the day, but let me say here that not one Michigan man went over to protest that decision. And that series of plays by Michigan moving. Kern turns, gives off to Otis, and Otis finds a big hole over the left side, and the last man hits him up at the 35-yard line, and that man was number 25, Tom Curtis, and except for Curtis, Otis might have gone all the way. The five-yard line in the straight tee, it's given off to Zelina, around the left side he goes, cuts back at the 35, goes to the 40, the 45, the 50, pulled down by Stacey, he misses him, Seymour grabs him and knocks him down at the 36-yard line of Michigan. Larry Zelina, injured in the first quarter, has come back strong here as the sophomore from Cleveland on a tremendous sprint around the left side. Simply ran away from Stinsick at the 45-yard line, and Seymour finally was able to get back to nail him at the 35 of Michigan. First and 10 for a third quarter. Slot eye to the right. They give it to Otis. Big hole over the middle on the trap, and he's inside the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Goss and Seymour have a hold of him. They spot it at the 29. The eye behind Kern. See if Kern goes to Otis this time. He does not. He does not hand off as he keeps it himself and drives off the left side of the 22-yard line. And it's another first down for Ohio State. As Marty Huff was able to make the tackle that time for Michigan with an assist from Dan Parks. At the 22 now of Michigan, first and 10 to go for Ohio State. That time, Kern not elected right. Kern is back to pass. He gets away from Goss, stays on his feet. Comes back upfield, now fires it into the end zone, and it's intercepted by Brian Healy in the end zone for Michigan. Tackled immediately by Bruce Jankowski, so Brian Healy's interception has stopped the Ohio State drive and gives Michigan the football first and ten at its own 20. Goss made a good move on Kern back there, but Kern was able to get away from him. Brown calling out the signals. Takes the... As back to pass he goes, gets the protection, fires it over the middle, it is caught at the 50-yard line, and then taken away by Tatum, back to the 45, he comes to the 40. Gabler had that ball at the 50, and Tatum took it right away from him. Ron Johnson made the tackle on Tatum at the Michigan 39-yard line. So Ohio State comes right back with its first interception, if you want to call it that. But apparently, Gabler had that ball in his hands, but simply had Tatum yank it right out of it. And a great play by sophomore into his back. From the left side, the kick is in the air. It's good. Jim Roman has perhaps put this ball game out of reach as he is connected on a 32-yard field goal, and he's being mobbed at the near sideline by his teammates as he comes across to get Ohio State. Look right as Brown is back to pass on first down. He's rolling around the right side, fires it up the field. It is intercepted up at the 45 of Michigan by linebacker Doug Adams. He's back to the 40 to the 35. Knocked down at the 30-yard line by center Dave Denson. As Doug Adams... Fielded that pass upfield intended for John Gabler. After it had gone off the hands of Gabler and a couple of Buckeyes, Adams was able to make the interception. The second of the day for Ohio State. And the Buckeyes take over again, this time at the Michigan 31-yard line. Seven Rushing over the ball at center. Snap taken by Kern. Gives off to Otis, and he stops standing up inside the 30-yard line. I'm sorry, that was Gillian. Ray Gillian, not Otis. Dan Parks and Cecil Pryor on the tackle. Pryor's right back in there. The slots to the right in the eye. Kern fakes to Blockington. Off the right he rolls. Looks downfield. He's going to run with the ball. The 30, the 25, the 20, and runs head on into Brian Healy, who bumps him out of bounds around the 18-yard line as this great young sophomore from Lancaster, Ohio, Rex Kern. Again, giving the Buckeyes a first down. And he had a pretty fair cut. Mankowski is split wide to the left. They give it to Otis, and Otis is hit by Parks after he moves it down to the 12-yard line. (laughs) 
At the 12, strike it down. Washington and Otis behind Kern. Had a little trouble with a snap. Keeps it himself and plows down over the 10-yard line. Ran into Goss and Stinsick inside the 10. They'll mark it at the... And short yardage. Hand off to Otis. And Otis has the first down as he hurdles his way down to the six-yard line. Pushed back by Pete Newell. Number 82. A flag was thrown at the spot of the tackle. Puts his head down, keeps it himself, and he's in there. Touchdown, Ohio State. Kern again going right over his own left side between Brian Donovan, the left guard, and center John Muehlbach to give Ohio State a 36 to 14 lead, and Jim Roman will be attempting the extra point. Interception by Doug Adams. Roman's kick is good. And Ohio State has opened up a 37 to 14 lead over Michigan. And again, the stadium is showered with papers. As Woody Hayes on the middle, and Stottlemyre's in the middle guard for Stillwagon. Back to pass goes Brown. Over the middle it goes to Strobel. He's got it at the 45 of Michigan, to the 50, the 45 of Ohio State, and he's down at the 42 of the Buckeyes. Making the tackle was Doug Adams, and once again Tatum. 13 after one. Dennis Brown this time working out of the eye. Goes back to pass. Not getting any protection, and he's going to be hit again for a loss. Back at the 48-yard line. Breaking through there once again. Big number 88, Dave Whitfield. And they will spot it now back over the 47-yard line. And Dennis Brown just not getting any time at all back there to spot his receivers. Oh, he's going to run with it. It's a fake punt. Back to the 50. He goes to the 45, to the 40. And he's uh, on his feet to the 35, down to the 33-yard line. From here, it looks as though he's a little bit short of the first down. However, there is a flag thrown back upfield. So let's check it. Illegal use of hands against Michigan. Well, I think he would... I don't know. On the inside handoff, it goes to Gillian. Finds a big hole over the middle. He's in the open at the 40, the 35, the 30. He may go 20-15. And he's pulled out from behind by George Huey. Down on the Michigan five-yard line. The inside handoff. To the slot man, Gillian, coming back to his right, working out of the slot to the left. Found a big hole over the middle as they trapped beautifully the middle guard of Michigan. And Ohio State has it first and goal at the Michigan 5. At halftime, first and goal for Ohio State at the Michigan 5. Yeah. And a goal situation is given off to Otis and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. Jim Otis, carting it in again for the Buckeyes. It's up. It's good. And Ohio State breaking open what was a close ball game. Here's it at the sideline. It's intercepted at the 35. Back to the 30. To the 25. To the 20. To the 15. And knocked down at the 11-yard line goes Art Burton. Burton, a junior from Fostoria, Ohio. He had checked in there at the right cornerback for Woody Hayes. Picked off that Dennis Brown aerial. Raced back down the far sidelines to the 11-yard line at Ohio State. Now with another golden scoring opportunity at the Michigan 11. With just three minutes and 18 seconds to go. And we have a new quarterback situation dropping straight back to pass fires it into the end zone now at the one yard line and he's tackled and I believe he stopped at the one George Huey
made the grab along with uh, Stensick. Long turns. Gives it to Otis, and Otis has another touchdown. Otis fires the ball into the crowd as he has picked up another touchdown for Ohio State. Running off his own left side, and he's picked into the air by Dick Cheney. Stop ball, left tackle. Long, faking to Otis. Back he goes to pass. Fires it into the end zone. It's overthrown. So the two-point attempt goes by the board. And Ohio State holding an unbelievable 50-14 to 14 lead now with just a minute and 23 seconds to go in the ballgame as the Buckeyes' firepower has broken wide open here in this fourth quarter. As again it goes to Johnson, and Johnson is down to the 35, and he's hemmed in there by three Buckeye tacklers. Listen to the crowd as they call off the seconds now. field comes a portion of this 85,000 plus to carry off on their shoulders the victorious Buckeyes of Ohio State who have won the Big Ten Championship in a battle that was broken open here in this fourth quarter 50 to 14.